Feel the heat. Understanding an English idiom. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, feel the heat. This idiom is used in various contexts, and understanding it can really enrich your English communication skills. Let's explore what it means, how it's used, and some examples to make it crystal clear. The phrase, feel the heat, typically means to experience pressure or stress in a situation. It's often used when someone is under scrutiny, facing challenges, or in a demanding environment. This idiom draws on the literal feeling of heat being uncomfortable or hard to endure, symbolizing the discomfort of pressure or stress. Subsection 2.1 In professional settings, in the workplace, feeling the heat can refer to the pressure of meeting deadlines, achieving targets, or handling criticism. Subsection 2.2 In personal life, in personal scenarios, this phrase might describe stress in relationships, personal goals, or life changes. Subsection 2.3 In competitive environments, in sports or competitions, athletes feel the heat when they face tough opponents or critical moments in a game. Let's see how this phrase works in actual sentences. 1. As the project deadline approaches, the team is really feeling the heat. 2. After the recent scandal, the politician is feeling the heat from the media and public. 3. He's feeling the heat now that he's in the final round of the competition. These examples illustrate how feel the heat can be used in various situations to express the idea of experiencing stress or pressure. This section will address frequent misunderstandings about this idiom. It's not about literal temperature. It doesn't always mean negative pressure. Sometimes, it's about motivating challenges. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, feel the heat, better. Remember, idioms like this add color and depth to your English. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use them in your conversations. See you in the next video.